All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in uh, on this Saturday night. Staying safe at home, luckily. Uh, not out there driving. Got a good barbecue going on. Drinking a couple beers, you know, just enjoying life. It is February tw uh, 1st, 2020, 8.05 p.m. West Coast time. And you're looking at the USGS latest map of earthquakes. 2.5 and above it does show the 4.4 earthquake that struck this morning near Long Valley Super Volcano also shows an aftershock of a 3.1 earthquake a little bit closer to the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano Caldera now there has been a little bit of concern and a little bit of fear-mongering I'm not gonna name any sources and I'm not going to go to the extreme of what they've been fear-mongering, but in my mind, in my state of mind, which is pretty good, I think, anyway, considering I've been studying this stuff for quite some time, this is not volcanic-related. It is purely tectonic in nature here in Southern California near Long Valley Super Volcano. I know a 4.4 earthquake next to a super volcano might stir up an alarm, but I tell you what, folks, it's not anything of concern at the moment. Now, if we start seeing some major quakes out here, say, for example, a, uh, a couple fives and whatnot popping off, or uh, even some upper fours, continuous earthquake activity, that would send off an alarm, no doubt, in this region. But uh, for now pretty cool it's pretty tectonic in nature folks this could this could have happened um anywhere within the long valley super volcano region but it did happen pretty much just right outside of the rim i'm trying to get uh trying to stir up the uh map here hold on one second of course, I'm always, uh, always, like I said, messing things up. Let's go back seven days, all magnitudes within this region, folks. And we can see a little bit more detail in regards to the earthquake activity. The earthquake activity that I am referring to here in Southern California. Okay, let's zoom in, shall we? Long Valley Super Volcano is pretty much a uh, an outlined with the red stripe. Uh, it's like dotted type material in a circle type motion. I do not have my mouse working here. I mean, it is on my side, but it's not working for the stream. Which I, I gotta get going. I, I admit it. I gotta get going. But there's a circle, a a, uh, a deep in depth on the map that you guys see right here with red lines surrounding it i'm sure you see it there is orange and a yellow circles indicating earthquake activity over the last seven days of all magnitudes here outside of the long valley super volcano caldera which is the rim of the volcano so most of the recent activity has occurred to the south and to the east there of that airplane symbol and which is outside of the caldera the 4.4 struck well south of there uh, the aftershock activity that we've been seeing today has occurred well south or well south outside of the caldera is what i'm trying to say now, I want to point out here to the north and to the west a little bit of interesting activity. Yellow in circles is the older earthquake activity. Now, this is micro earthquakes here. And I'm talking pretty much everything under a 1.0 magnitude earthquake. But this is pretty much right up to the rim in the, uh, the caldera of, earthquake of the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano. You can see the mountain range sitting up here to the uh, to the north and the east, but there's really nothing 
to uh, be concerned about when it comes to activity directly within the caldera. A couple, I, I'm going to scoot over here just a little bit. Just a little bit. A couple yellow earthquakes right there. Micro earthquakes out there in the rim of the um, Long Valley Super Volcano. Now, most of this, folks, and I'm pretty sure 99% of this activity is plate tectonics in action right here. There's been a lot of movement over the past year in Southern California, especially with the events in the uh, Ridgecrest area, July 4th, July 5th, with the large earthquake sequence. So, it's interesting, and it's I think it's factual to state that uh, this is purely tectonic in nature, and there's been no geothermal activity or increase in... Um, Sorry about that. An uplift in this area is what I'm trying to state. As far as like the GPS stations. And this activity, if you look at it, pretty much spreads out all over throughout this mountain range here. So, um, I'm, just with my observation, I think this is pretty much a tectonic, plate tectonics at work here. The other interesting information or the act area activity, I think, that should be um, looked at. Let's back up here a little bit. I can. Uh, it's down here, well southwest of the region. Well southwest, down here in Southern California. Uh, let's see if I can find that activity that occurred recently down here and this activity I kind of discussed here in my live stream uh, it's, it's interesting to note the subsequent numerous earthquakes that have taken place since this 3.5 uh, that struck out here in Southern California it's not a heavily populated area and it's not known for plate tectonics out here at all. It's pretty much just a mountainous range. Uh, but it is well within, well, with, within the uh, North American plate, right? This, this activity right here, though, that I just showed you taking place on the Pacific side of the San Andreas Fault System which is up here to the north and to the east of this activity. North American plate to the east, well to the east of this activity. Not a major earthquake activity here, but nonetheless it is interesting because it is not associated with any type of plate boundary or fault boundary, I should say, out here in the Southern California region. Nothing. And it's pretty much spread out throughout the region, not in any specific area that would be associated with any type of volcanic activity, should should I say. Looking at the satellite imagery, of course, you're going to look at mountains, right? A lot of mountainous activity out here. No, I, I'm not even going to be bring fracking into this region because there is no oil type areas out here that induce the uh the fracking scene that we might see out in oklahoma or kansas region just uh interesting activity to take note so to speak but uh either way i would say just looking at this map folks we've definitely seen an increase in activity on the pacific side the pacific plate side of the San Andreas fault system so therefore that is definitely uh, not an alert type status but something to be on guard out there in Southern California of course we all know the San Andreas fault system is uh, uh, locked and loaded according to a lot of folks out there the professionals 
Ridgecrest area still seeing a lot of earthquake activity over the last seven days here you can see that line where the rupture occurred back on July 4th and July 5th uh, running from northwest to southeast but uh, that's expected but in this case folks with the uh, renew renewed earthquake activity in Southern California near Mammoth Lakes which is strictly plate tectonics in action there and the earthquake activity on the Pacific side of the San Andreas fault system out there in the mountainous regions of Southern California uh, there's no doubt that uh, it's kind of an increase in a potential for uh, a larger earthquake out out there so just just always good to be prepared out there folks um, in uh, Southern California especially no matter where you live out here though in the world uh, latest earthquake is going to be this 5.6 south of the uh, well northwest of Q um, Costa Rica region just off the coast of Mexico about 10 kilometers below the surface there we have seen an increase in earthquake activity out there in Puerto Rico you can see uh, quite a few uh, moderate to small well small to moderate earthquakes out there uh, taking place and also somewhat of an increase in the southern plains region there quite a few twos popping off in Oklahoma close to the Arkansas border and also in Pecos Texas region but uh, other than that I would you know it's pretty quiet out there folks really quiet out there in the western part of the Pacific and I do state that a lot but uh, right now a lot of activity out here in the uh, North and South American continent region. So we shall see how it goes overnight, no doubt. Uh, anyway, I do want to give a thank you to all the mechanics out there that uh, uh, left comments on my last video in regards to the uh, ignition issues that I was having on a uh, 99 Ford Explorer. So I'm probably just going to keep drilling and go at it and see what happens from there but uh, I do want to give a shout out to everyone that commented and uh, I definitely appreciate it uh, in the meantime stay safe folks there's a lot of activity not concerning there's no big alerts right now uh, but there's a lot a lot of activity in Southern California that is uh, interesting to say the least but uh, stay safe always have an earthquake plan out there uh, especially if you live in Southern California, no matter where you live, actually. Earthquakes can take place out here on this beautiful globe we live on. Have a good night, folks. Uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.